Welcome. In this video, I'm going to take a look at this Balder wireless weather station with touch buttons. This was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you're interested in one of these, I'll put a link in the description. If you use that link, it helps me out a little bit. It doesn't cost you anything extra. So here we have some little icons here. It has temperature and humidity. Uh, I think it's backlit. I'm not sure that says temperature maybe. It says uh, Celsius and Fahrenheit, uh, 12 hour, 24 hour clock, min and max. And it has a display and then a remote. So you put that outside and you can capture the temperature and humidity outside and then it uh, displays it on the inside. Looks like this comes in maybe white or black. It says easy to read screen, measures in out temperature and humidity, three comfort level indicators, min max record of temperature and humidity, touch buttons for easy operation, window open close indicator, stable and storable mental stand. Maybe that's supposed to be metal stand, uh, white backlight, main unit powered by three AAA batteries not included, sensor by two AAA batteries not included, and then it has the model number and where it was designed. So let's open this up. <laughs> so first thing we know is it's not accurate on the outside, but I'm not going to complain. Batteries not included, and there's batteries. So that's kind of cool. Congratulations. It says uh, they're doing buy one, get one. Um, send the order ID to us, then you can get an extra product, the one outdoor sensor in three weeks. That's a neat deal. Then we have the instruction manual. And here we have the receiver and the transmitter. So we have the button on the top for the backlight. Looks like there's a stand somewhere. Okay, this is cool. <laughs> the little pin for the stand is inside of the battery compartment. That's really handy. I mean, if you were hanging this on a wall, then later, later wanted to like set it on a desk or something, you would lose this thing. So that's cool that they include it in the battery compartment. I like that. So now that can sit standing up. And here we have the transmitter. It looks like it has a little foot here. So if you had a place outside where you could set that, um, you could do it. It has a little uh, keyhole here so you could screw it in. Let's pop this open. There we go. So here we have Celsius Fahrenheit selector. We have a test channel 321 and the battery compartment. I don't think there was anything else in here. Let's see. Nope. So I'm going to read through this a little bit and then we'll get it set up. So it says we want to load up the sensor first. So I'll put batteries in there. And that's on. I'm going to switch that from Celsius to Fahrenheit since I'm in the US and like most people, I don't know Fahrenheit off the top of my head. Oh, that's a button you push. Okay. It looked like a little slide switch at first, but I get it. So that's done. I'll put batteries in the receiver. If you ever deal with kids toys, it's refreshing to not see the little screw here to hold the back plate on. <laughs> okay. There we go. So that should pair up and this is on channel one, I think. No, it's on three. Okay, there's also this little thing to peel off the front. That's always satisfying. So we have the transmitter here, it says 72.5F, 72.6F, and 40% relative humidity. And then the main unit says 72.5F and 39% relative humidity. I imagine there's a little bit of a delay doing this, but it's pretty much the same. And then the temperature here says 37 uh, degrees and 39 RH. So these are very similar because they're right next to each other. So it's a half degree off on the temperature. Although this is, yeah, it's changing slowly. So, so let me turn the light off here. I have a little light coming in the window, but I can do this. This is the backlight. The backlight's amazing. I mean, that looks really good. Wow. The viewing angle, like you can see it kind of goes out if you're looking at it from an angle. Actually, it's mostly if you're looking at it from the bottom up. Most people would have that on a 
like a desk and look at it down. You're not going to get below it to look at it. So that's pretty cool. So the manual talks about setting up this if it becomes unpaired or if you're setting up uh, different ones on you to go through the procedure. So if you were to get an, a second unit like this, so you could put one of these in your front yard, one in your backyard. Uh, you could put one in your yard, one of them in your garage if you want to know your garage temperature. Um, you could put one in your basement. Uh, you could put them in different parts of the house, things like that. Looks like there's also a little uh, peel off thing here. There we go. I like that this has the uh, temperature on it. I mean, it's tiny, but a lot of times you see these little uh, remote sensors don't have a display on it. And if you are outside, say you're on your patio and this is, you know, sitting on your patio, you may not know the temperature out there. You'd have to go inside and look at the main unit. This gives it to you right on the receiver, the transmitter itself. I think that's a neat feature. So if we want to set the time on here, we can hit CF set and it says press and hold it. And it's going to flash and you want to do channel up. I don't know what time it is, maybe two o'clock and then uh, channel down. And then we'll just hit set again. We can change the minutes. And then we can say we want 24 hour or 12 hour. And this is the memory mode. We can change it on or off. I'll turn it on. And there we go. So this can tell you your maximum minimum record. And it says press the mem down first time to have maximum temperature and humidity. The value will display for five seconds. So we'll hit that. And we're seeing our max display. Nothing's changed in here. So. You're not really going to see a difference, but and it says press it a second time. So I need to hit it once and then twice. And this will have the minimum temperature and humidity. And then we can hit it again. And that returns to your standard mode. Okay, so when we were setting the uh, time here and it said the memory off. So the max and the min will be forever if that is off. But if you turn it on, uh, it will reset it every 24 hours. So since I turned it on, this will reset the min and max every 24 hours. So I think that's probably the way I want to use it. It has a comfort level indicator. So we have this little smiley face here. And that is a, the comfort level is between 45 and 65% humidity. If it's between 20 and 44%, that's a frowny face. If it's 66 to 99, it's just a straight face. So this is the ideal humidity. And I do have a humidifier running. And it's actually not too bad out today. I think it's like 40 some degrees. Uh, Fahrenheit, but it's still cool, but the humidity is good. When it gets, it can get really dry out here when it gets cold. Then we have the ambient change icon, and that would be right here. And this is calculated by the outdoor and indoor absolute humidity. Icons will be changed on screen and on below conditions. So I'll just put that up here. You can read that. So you have no change, more wet and more dry. And then it has this window icon. Uh, it was showing here. It must have turned off um, up there. And it said window close. And this has the criteria if it tells you you should open the window or not based on the um, humidity here. So you can open the window and close the window. And then it just has precautions here like uh, don't immerse it in water, uh, don't clean it with solvents, things like that. So. So that's a neat wireless thermometer. I really love this backlight feature. I think that's going to be really neat because a lot of times I want to look at this in the evening and where I'll put this in our living room, it's kind of dark over there. So I can just hit that button and read it easily. And I'm guessing the batteries in here will last quite a while uh, based on what I've seen from other wireless uh, weather stations. So I'm going to go find a place for this outside and go set that in my living room and um, and I'll be able to tell the temperature outside. And I really like to see it because like if I'm leaving in the car, I wanna know if it's near freezing to know if uh, the roads could be iced up, things like that. And also when I walk my kid to school, I can look on here and tell what I need to wear as far as jackets concerned. So, so that's it for this. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.